Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be looking at Java program to accept a sentence from the user and display the sentence in reversing order of its word. What does it mean? If the sentence is computer is fun, we have to start with the last word. Okay, fun. Then is and then first word will become the last word. In short, we are not reversing like this. N U F S I. We are not reversing like this. Okay, guys. We just have to reverse in order of words. Okay, so words will remain as it is. Just we have to alter the sequence of words. Fine. So let's proceed. We know the basic prototype of any Java program. Import line, then class name. Class name, you can write anything of your choice, but it should be valid name, valid identifier. Then public static void main, scanner s is equal to new scanner. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll declare one variable string a. Right. Why am I doing this? Why am, de am I declaring? To take input from the user. We will go step by step. Okay. So system.out.println. I'll take sentence from the user. I'll ask user enter the sentence. User will enter the sentence. Okay. In the variable a. So a is equal to s dot next line. Once the sentence is taken, I'll declare one variable string a n s to store the result, which is empty in the beginning. Now guys, see here carefully. We will first discuss the logic behind the program. Suppose the sentence given is this, computer is fun. What I'll do, I'll start from the last word, last, uh, what we can say, last character. From last character and we will go towards the beginning, okay. Now, last character is N, then next character will be U, the next character will be F. So, what will we do? Extract characters from the end okay so how characters will be extracted first n will come then u will come then f will come right now i am talking about only one word okay how will we join we will join in the string answer is equal to ch plus answer what is happening let's see in the beginning answer was blank and i added which character how characters are extracted? First extracted character is N. So I added N plus blank string. Okay. Next time what will happen? CH. So next extracted character is which one? U. So I will write U plus. What is already there in the answer? N is already there. So U plus N will happen. That is we will get UN. Next time what will happen? What's the word now? People, what's the word now? UN is the answer. Then again, next extracted character is F. So I will add F with which word? UN. So see, I got the last word. In short, what we have to do? We have to extract the characters from the end. That is N, U, F. But how to join in the answer? Every time whenever character comes... We have to write answer is equal to ch plus ans. Now ch plus ans will do what? Here what answer is equal to ch plus ans will do? Whatever is earlier stored, like for example, welcome string if I am writing. Okay. Now last character is e. Okay. It will be joined to a blank string. So I got the word in E. Where am I storing this in ANS? Okay. What is our line? Answer is equal to CH plus ANS. What is CH? CH will be what guys? CH will be from the end we are doing. So E M O C L E W. Okay, this is CH sequence. Now, because of this line, answer is equal to CH plus answer. 
what will happen it will join how will it join what will become e then m will come so m will be joined before what before e right then what word did i get i got m e then again what will happen the next ch will be added that is o will be combined with what m e so i will get what o m e then c will be joined before what o m e so i'll get come in short people listen this line we will keep in the for loop okay so this will happen repetitively one by one one by one characters will be extracted and will be added in the beginning in the beginning of the resultant string so let's proceed towards the actual solution this was just for explanation people so let's proceed i wrote string answer now i will run the for loop for i is equal to what is i let's declare int i is equal to 0 you can declare i variable outside so that if you want to use it again you can use int i now what i am doing i is equal to 0 no we will start from the end so a dot length minus 1 i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus we are going in reverse direction from the last character now very important we know what we learned just now we will join one by one but whenever space encounters whenever space encounters what we have to do we have to print the word which we have formed till that time okay so how will we do in this first i'll extract the character ch is equal to a dot char at i what is ch ch is the character ch is equal to character char ch we declared it okay now we just now learned that we will write answer is equal to ch plus answer but we will not simply do this what will we do if till space we will add it that is if ch is equal to equal to space what does it mean one word is formed in ans what is formed in ans one word is formed out of computer is fun fun is formed fun is made okay then is from the sentence one by one one by one each word are each word is formed okay so what will we do if ch is equal to equal to this i'll simply print system dot out dot print l print and then i will print ans plus i give space in between okay and every time we have to make the ans to be blank why are we making it blank so that from the sentence if the sentence is computer is fun first fun came where in answer is equal to ch plus ans whenever space will encounter we printed the answer and we made it blank so that why did we make it blank because now i want to store what next word then again when blank will come i have to store the next word okay else this will come where in else because if space come if space comes in we printed it what did we print we printed the word which we formed otherwise concat okay now we have to add the space before the first word why because what are we doing when are we printing the word space comes print the word space comes print the word now we have to add the space before first word also so what will we do we will simply add the space before the first word so that all the words will be printed okay so this is the way we can do the program to print here how answer will be printed 
first we will print fun second time it will print is and second time it will next time it will print computer so it will print one by one how characters will be extracted first n will come then u will come then f will come okay then space will come okay what is this this is ch we will make the comment so that it is not the part of program it is just for understanding i am commenting it okay and here we are joining how are we joining first n will be joined then un will form then fun will be formed because all extracted character n u f will be joined before okay whatever is extracted will be joined before okay in the word if you are stuck somewhere you can just rewind the video and check it out let's run the program okay we will comment the question and now i will run the question uh, run the program okay there is error we just have to write system now i will run it again program is compiled successfully now i will enter the sentence enter the sentence my name is anuj see anuj is name my it is not completely reversed words are just put in a reversed fashion okay string is not j u n a s i we have to reverse how the order of words we have to make it reverse fine very simple logic we just have to write answer is equal to ch plus ans okay when space encounters means one word is over we have to print that word and make it blank why are we making it blank so that to store next word first we stored fun then next time what will be stored here is will be stored and next time what will be stored computer will be stored it is not storing everything together okay this i have shown only for one word okay thank you